Good afternoon, folks. I am your host on this video, Reverend Sylvanus Treewalker of the Order of Standing Oak, and Theo Frith, Jessup of Raven Temple of Sax Wicca. I hope you guys are having a great 4th of July. Um, just wanted to take a minute to talk about some things that have kind of gotten important over the last few weeks. And the title of this video video is A Pagan Speaks Out on Traitor Trump and the 2024 Election. Um, things are getting bad, folks. And I think it's time that we put the cards on the table about what is going on. Um, I'm just going to say it right now. Uh, Donald Trump is one of the worst traitors we've ever had in our entire lifetime, in our 250 years of our country. And now we have so much division and so much going on that uh, we've got to dig ourselves out of the doldrums, man. There are people that they're just walking around and they don't care. It's like, oh, I don't care. It's just politics. No, when a man says that he's going to be, uh, when he says he's going to be a dictator on day one, and then you look at what the GOP is doing with Project 2025, which I highly recommend that everybody look at that and go see what's going on. You know, we have to really look at the things that Trump's been talking about for the last, you know, two years. Um, you know, he placed the people on the Supreme Court that overturned Roe versus Wade. Um... And so many things are rapid fire uh, with this uh, uh, villainous, uh, illegal, traitor court from Alito all the way to uh, the new one. Uh, I can't even think of her name. Uh, that, that, you know, and then we got Clarence Thomas and so many of, of the others. You know, we have three justices that are just sitting there and they can't do anything because you know they're in the minority and it's 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 majority rule with the Supreme Court and they're taking uh laws and and just rendering them useless and the American people are stuck up between you know are we going to vote Trump into office or are we going to uh cry that uh, Joe Biden didn't have a good debate the other night. Look, folks, I'm going to tell you this. If you want to see this country survive, I don't care if on election day, if Joe Biden is alive and physically able to take a breath, I don't care if you hate his guts. If you want to see America survive, if you want to see uh, Donald Trump get justice uh, for all of the bad things he's done, not just the hush money stuff. The man stole documents with nuclear secrets. He's given them to people. His son was trying to sell our 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 you know our top secret stuff to uh, people in the Middle East for two billion dollars. Um, you know, and then you get things that affect us more so than just our national security. You've got Trump saying that he wants to um, go ahead and let the GOP cut Social Security. Well, you know, if he becomes a dictator, he can just go in and he could completely dismantle Social Security, period. And do you realize if he, dem if he demolishes Social Security, period, there's 65 million seniors that, uh, you know, need Social Security to be able to live... These are the people that are living in nursing homes right now that that money that they get from the Social Security that they paid into during their lifetimes, that what keeps them in the nursing home and, you know, a, a, a bed to sleep in and food and medical care and stuff like that. And the GOP wants to get rid of it. They want to get rid of the Department of Education. If they get rid of the Department of Education, pretty soon it's going to be the downfall of public schools. Period. There will be no public schools. There will be nothing but uh, private schools that nobody can afford. Um, 
you know, looking at his attitude like he deserves to be, you know, the king of America. He deserves immunity. No, he deserves what he's been wanting to do, talking about using uh, with impunity SEAL Team 6. That's all I'm going to say. You know, it works just as both ways. Personally, I would just say Biden should nullify the uh, election and say, okay, well, since presidents have immunity from official acts, then my official acts is to suspend uh, the election cycle indefinitely and that to um, send uh, uh, marshals and stuff to arrest the Supreme Court and to arrest uh, uh, Donald Trump as traitors, treasonous people that have become liabilities and a, a risk of bad things happening to, happening to America. I'm so flustered on this. Do you realize how many people are going to lose their jobs? Donald Trump wants to get rid of the uh, uh, income tax. Okay, so if he gets rid of the income tax, he wants to replace it with 10% tariffs on everything that comes into the United States. Do you realize that if he takes away the income tax, nothing will ever get fixed? We'll never be able to afford anything that is imported into the United States. Cars, food, clothing, medical supplies, you name it, it just won't happen. And he's doing this with a smile. And then you have these people uh, that are part of the, the Project 2025 that are saying, well, you know, if the left doesn't uh, kowtow to us, there could be bloodshed. Good, I hope there is. I hope that people get tired of what the GOP has done to America for the last 50 years and rises up and sends them packing. We, that's how we became America. We fled the rule of an abusive king. That's not what we're here for now. We're here for each other. Look at the, the, the ideas of that they want to take away LGBTQ rights. They want to make women second-class citizens and not have bodily autonomy over their birth and functions and stuff like that. They want to get rid of in vitro fertilization and um, surrogacy, and pretty much they want to do away with contraception. There are so many things that are important that we need to look at. You know, if you go down the, if you go down the line and you look at everything that is successful and helpful to the American people, this is what Trump and his allies want to, you know, want to destroy. And looking at it in the pagan side of things, you know, we are the defenders of the earth, its people, its animals, the whole nine yards. How are we going to defend the earth whenever, you know, they will gut and shut down the EPA? That means our water will be poisoned. That means our food will be unedible. Uh, you know, um, the only ones that will have it good and safe will be the ones that kowtow to Trump and are rich and make money. And that's another thing with the, with the idea of um, uh, removing the income tax. Uh, the Supreme Court wants to be able to take that money that's, uh, you know, accrued uh, after re, um, removing the income tax and transferring trillions of dollars in wealth to the top 1%, the richest people, the corporations, Trump himself, Trump's family, you know? And it's like, we need to wake up. We need to tell our family members that are leaning Trump, you know, that, hey, you live in an old folks home. If he gets his hands on it and becomes the dictator that he says he will, you could end up in the street. Loved ones and family members could uh, be going through various medical treatments and then all of a sudden, due to uh, price gouging and everything within the pharmaceutical industry, you know, nobody, only the super rich, if you're dying, if, you're on, uh, if you've been shot and you don't have the $300,000 overall that it's going to cost to keep you alive 
They're not going to let you use insurance. They're not going to let you use Medicare or Medicaid or anything like that because if Trump gets in, he'll make sure that if once he dies, somebody else will get the mantle. It's like what happened if, with uh, North Korea. Kim Jong-il, he died. His son, Kim Jong-un, took over. And uh, who's to say that Trump wouldn't pass the mantle on to his coke-addicted son? You know? And it's like, tell your pagan friends, get together, make strategies of what to do within these next three or four months. Because I think people, if Trump wins, they're going to be surprised, they're going to be caught unaware, and it's going to hurt millions and millions and millions of people. So, you know, be thoughtful, folks. Go vote. Get your family to vote. And like I say, personally, myself, I don't care if they if they push Biden out or if Biden stays in to preserve democracy, to preserve our country, and to get the chance because if we can keep just keep a hold of the White House and keep Biden and whoever else that would be in there after that, that could buy us enough time to defeat these Project 2025 and, you know, everything that's dealing with uh, the uh, GOP. That's another thing. Not just voting for the president, but when you go into that ballot box, I encourage you to not just vote for Biden. Vote Democrat all the way down. Don't let a single Republican have a chance to get in anywhere because, you know, women have have, have learned that, you know, they're going to take their rights away no matter what. LGBTQ community is learning slowly that, you know, these Republicans are nothing but, you know, fascists that want to take their rights. That, you know, even us as pagans, what's going to happen when they start doing the Muslim ban and then again, like they did while Trump was in office, and then the next thing you know, they turn their eyes to us as a pagan community. You know, we're not going to be immune from that. But, you know, I'm not going to run and hide. Um, that's why I'm... And more people, please, whenever you hear this uh, and see this video on YouTube, please share it. You know, these are just basic things. I'm not going to sit here and talk for an hour. We all know the writings on the wall. We know the things that we've built over 250 years can go down the tubes in a heartbeat. November 5th is when it all comes down on the line. And if you are wanting to see a fascist dictatorship, that's up, that's to you, you know. I I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't have anything to do with traitors. But after what Trump has done to America during COVID, uh, you know, the, his, his border wall, all these crises and stuff that he brought to America... Um, and it could happen again, and people are just like, you know, they've got their head in the sand. Please don't let your head be in the sand for this. This is very important stuff that we need to uh, keep an eye on. Um, if you have questions or you want to get a hold of me to talk about this further, then please, by all means, send me an email, email to, to Sylvanus93, S-Y-L-V-A-N-U-S 93, at hotmail.com, and I will put links in the description to our uh, uh, social medias that are on Facebook and other places, and pagans work magic, chant, drum, come together, beseech the gods that you follow to make a good outcome for America, because it's like we cannot see the end of our democracy uh, uh, at the end of a, at the end of a, 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 a 250 years from a charlatan and all of his cronies. These people are insane. They want to destroy us. And another thing before I go, just think about this, you know, with uh, uh, Trump and Putin, as soon as Trump gets in office, he will hand Putin the keys to the United States and just let him come over here and start doing whatever he wants. You think the oppression's bad in Moscow? Wait until we get Trump in here again, and he will amp that with the blessing. He loves dictators. 
He loves uh, the Venezuelan dictator. He loves Kim Jong-un. He wrote love letters. These are his people. He keeps Mein Kampf by his bed. You know, and everything that he does, he will cloak it under the sanctity of, you know, well, I got this because of the Supreme Court. We need to gut the Supreme Court. We need to get, we need to load the bench with four more people on it. But Biden won't do that. He's so crotchety. But, you know, we can't wait for him. We need to be prepared and we need to be ready. So having said that, we're going to bring this to an, bring this to an end. And I hope that everyone out there stays safe. And there's going to be more videos coming up about this, um, different topics and stuff like that. I just, I cannot go. And if you're out there and you're pagan, make videos too. Let your voice be heard. Let people know what you think about this situation with this traitorous orange buffoon. And let America know that we're not going to put up with it, that we are going to fight. That's why I say, when it comes time to go vote, don't hold any biases against Biden and the Democrats. Just get in there and vote so that we don't have a dictator. I'm begging you to please do that. Anyway, I'm Reverend Savannah Treewalker, the Order of the Standing Oak and Justice of Raven Temple of Siax Wicca. Um, blessings of Woden and Freya and the Tua de Danan to everybody. I hope you guys have had a great holiday. Be safe, and until next time, blessed be.